There we shall hear the birds sing. We shall see fresh green hills and fields of corn undulating like the sea. With these words, the Italian writer Boccaccio begins his famous novel Decameron, written in the hills of Tuscany in the year 1350. Something extraordinary was happening in these Tuscan fields. In less than three generations, this gentle landscape would spawn a generation of artists, writers, and architects who would change the course of civilization. The dogmatic traditions of the Middle Ages, in force for over a thousand years, were coming to an end. A new movement was afoot. For the early pioneers, Dante and Petrarch, it was a search to recapture the legacy of ancient Greece and Rome. But for the Florentines, it was above all a search for beauty, for excellence, for individual achievement. We are fortunate to have an actual witness to these heady and exciting times. His name is Giorgio Vasari, who in the mid-16th century wrote the first biography of artists of the Renaissance. It is undeniably true that if the artists of our own time were justly rewarded, they would produce even greater works of art. Through his words, and through recollections from artists like Michelangelo and Da Vinci, we will once again encounter the golden era of the Renaissance. <laughs> 